<laughs> Heave Scott. There, there's an outtake for later. All right, let's try that again. Yeah. One, two, three. Hey, he's Nick. He's Scott. This is the West Ham Bitch Fest. All right, so, uh, hey, we played a match today. And we our, our, it. Defense, our defense is awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I lost you for a second there. I think I think my lost your audio for a second, buddy. Anyways, hey, um, it's a bitch fest. It's uh, two guys, one minute each, one topic each. Nick, call in the air, buddy. Heads. I'm tossing the coin, and I think I've won what once. Yeah, and I might I might have even cheated. Then it was heads again. Nick, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to? Uh, I'm gonna go first. Okay, let me get a let me get a time already here, buddy. Hey, uh, can you tell me what your uh, what your topic's going to be today? Today I'll be talking about why Mikhail Antonio should not be a locked in starter for West Ham United. Why Mikhail Antonio should not be a locked in starter? In three, two, one, go. Okay, so I know it sounds negative and it sounds abusive to Antonio, who has been a great player for us over many years. Uh, to t say that he should not be a locked-in starter. But actually, I think that the reason he should not be a locked-in starter is because one of his greatest assets is his versatility. Now, we've seen Antonio played out of position a number of times, and that's unfortunate, especially the few times that he's been at right back, um, notably. But I think that the fact that he's so d d versatile, the fact that he can play on either wing, the fact that he can slot in up top, I think that that makes him too dangerous to be pigeonholed into one position. Imagine having a, a Swiss Army knife that for 60 of every 90 minutes, you can only have open to one setting. That's just not utilizing the Swiss Army knife as well as you ultimately could. So I think that we should allow Mikhail Antonio to come off the bench, to slot in for any number of different players. And I think that's where you're going to get the most utility out of him per minute play. Bang. Good job, buddy. Uh, he had a typical Mikhail Antonio kind of day. Went down injured, scored a goal, ended the game. <laughs> uh, I love that. Um, you know what my topic is going to be today? Why everybody needs to chill out and just let Sebastian Allaire be Sebastian Allaire. You ready to go? I love it. Lay it on. All right. Three, two, one, go. So, folks, it, it it's already started. We're in preseason. And I've already seen the comments about how Sebastian Allaire, he looks a little knackered. He looks tired. He looks like he's not fit. Guys, he's played one freaking preseason match. He's got to figure out who these guys are. Let's see. What did he do today? Did he get two assists and a goal? I will take, I will take knackered like that any day of the week. I want to see him knackered like that the way that we saw Andy Carroll knackered by sitting on the injury table wearing that nice good ass groove into the table. Listen, everybody, you know, what kind of group of idiots are we that we're already throwing Allaire under the bus? And we won, and he played really well. His hold-up play was good. His passing play was good. The goal that he fed uh, Horn uh, Fornals with was spectacular. I loved it. So what I got to say right now is, everybody, guys, chill out. And I'm not kidding when I say this. Chill the heck out. He's played one preseason match, and we won, and he scored. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it just killed me today to see see some really negative commentary about Allaire. And I'm like, what would happen if you would have actually played badly? I'm feeling pretty good about who I follow on Twitter because all the things I saw were actually pretty positive. And I was worried. I thought that I was like, I know that people are going to complain about him already. And I was kind of excited to see that people were talking about how strong he looked, um, how good his layoff play was, like you mentioned. Uh, even he had two assists and he had about – five or six other chances created that could have been assists on top of that. So I'm absolutely ready to see him play uh, in the Premier League, full stop. Yeah, I am a little concerned about it defending. Uh, uh, they end up, they actually put the ball in our net five times, twice it was offside, and I, somebody who was at the match was like, those weren't offside. <laughs> hey, <what's new>? so, <laughs> hey, Nick, you got anything to say to the people out in YouTube land? No. All right, hey, everybody. Uh, Vegas is coming up. It sounds like there's only a few tickets left. If you want to go, you want to go. Hey, go ahead. One left as of a few minutes ago on Twitter. One ticket left. Who will get the last ticket? Uh, probably not Tony. Tony's probably not coming. All right. Hey, Nick, you have a good rest of the week. In the interim, come on, you irons. Come on, you irons.
All right. Now, uh, this is the back is uh, the tool set that I'm ready to use on the Monday night. Uh, I, I can do recordings and I can do 